I'm going to tell you the story, or attempt to tell you the story, of how two flies saved my DK. Um, last year, the, after the stop in Eureka, so going ahead to the second stop in Madison, turned into the notorious headwind that day, and it was um, tough riding. And I had run out of water. It had started to become clear that one of my goals for the race, you know, I wasn't going to make the time I was aiming for. It was hot. I was out of food. Feeling pretty rough. And still a long way from the checkpoint. And it was like Armageddon. I mean, every spot along the road where there was some tree growing close enough to the road to cast shade on it, there were two or three riders sitting in the shade, either trying to recover or just waiting for pickup. And the truth was, I was looking for some shade too. I just didn't want to stop where there was another rider because, you know, if I'm going to quit, I wanted to do it in private. It's less embarrassing that way. So finally, I did find some little sh shade tree that was casting, you know, six foot diameter shade onto the road. And I thought, what luck, let me just pull over here and uh, I'll open up my water bottle and take out the last little bit of liquid I have on the bike. Take a rest, just take a rest. But, you know, that's the first step to quitting the race. So I pulled in there, popped the top off my water bottle, drank my last half ounce of super hot liquid, <laughs> which was had Gatorade in it, you know, so I don't know that it quenched the thirst that much. And um, I said, you know, I'm just gonna sit here for 20 minutes and take it easy. You know, starting the process of letting my mind get used to the fact that I'm gonna bail on this race. And as I sat there, I started to figure out why there weren't any other riders under this one. How come every other shade tree had riders under it except for this one? As I was sitting there, two flies started, two of the little black flies started to come over and land on me and bite me on the leg. One bit me and I shoot it off. Another bit me and I shoot it off. And I said, you know what? This sucks. I'd much rather be riding. That was better than getting bit by these flies. So I got back on the bike and I started down the road and I'd been going for about a hundred yards and I thought to myself, A and D, you piece of garbage. It was so bad that you were head, headed down the road of quitting. You just couldn't go on. But as it turns out, it was a lot better than getting bit by a fly. So I just thought, you know, how mentally weak am I that I'm gonna quit over something that's not quite as bad as getting bit by a fly. So <laughs> I went ahead and sucked it up and I, you know, basically that was that. After that, there was no way I was gonna quit. Uh, made it into the checkpoint and tanked up on food and water, fought through some cramps and went ahead and finished the race. But I, you know, I say that to myself a lot if I'm doing a tough workout and, uh, you know, I always say, hey, is this as bad as a fly bite, you know? And that probably doesn't make a lot of sense in any other context, but in that context, it can keep me going a lot, you know? I was ready to quit, probably, but... I was going to quit over some circumstance that was not quite as bad as getting bit by a fly. So that's how two flies saved my race.